right, let's bring in our chief news anchor, senior editor, Lisa Laflamme, who is joining me live right now with Reaction. Lisa. Well, certainly a stunning development, uh, isn't it, Todd? I think that... Uh is it possible to say we're probably not shocked by it, knowing that this has been an issue, certainly for the government, for so many months now? Everybody's been waiting for that uh, review to be um, completed. And this morning, when Bob Fife broke the story that that had been uh, completed and that it was, in fact, so damning. But, I mean, I can say for years I have been hearing from my own sources that this has been... Uh, an untenable situation, and, and it goes back to the vetting process and whether or not the Governor General, Judy Payette, had been vetted to the degree necessary for a role. I mean, this is an incredibly accomplished woman uh, in a professional life, a massive history, and you think about whether or not that was the, what it took to for the role of Governor General. And I think this is where a lot of the questions are going to come down to. The Prime Minister's office was probably wowed by the concept of an astronaut um, and such a revered Canadian uh, to possibly take over that position as Governor General and perhaps uh, didn't conduct some of the things they should have done um, to determine whether or not that was the character for the role that was expected as governor general. So uh, lots of things now, accountability questions, of course, and we are waiting. We're hearing there will be a statement from the prime minister's office coming anytime soon. Um, obviously, everyone is looking for clarity on how the final decision happened. I'm assuming it was because of that document. But I remember asking Christia Freeland uh, in September what are you going to do about this? Uh, this is now tarnishing for Canadians the role of the Governor General, the office of the Governor General. And her response at that time was that, you know, they have great respect for the office. She didn't defend Judy Payette in that interview. Uh, she didn't pile on, obviously. And it was at that time, let's wait for the report to come out. In fact, today it has. So um, really significant uh, day, though, in our history, in this country, to see a governor general resign for bad behavior, which is, you know, um, any time that is not good in history to treat staff that way. But certainly in such a position of leadership, the number of staffers that were interviewed, uh, there seemed to be a consistent theme. What do you think, Lisa? I'm just curious. It, it will mean for, for Justin Trudeau, who, who chose Julie Payette to be the governor general, take over for David Johnston. Well, and I mean, if you think back to that time, I don't remember exactly, but I know they bypassed some of the normal um, committees. It used to be done by committee, uh, the choosing of a governor general. And I understand, um, just from information I've received from very reliable sources, that it really was a wow moment when they heard Judy Payette may be interested in moving into some kind of diplomatic role. And um, it seemed like a great choice. I mean, who didn't think so? This incredible woman, incredibly accomplished astronaut, um, has really spent her life uh, exploring the world, but also science and all of these things that we look to. Uh, and again, I say there was evidence, as I think Scott Reed reported earlier, if they had done any digging, I mean, who gets a job and you don't ask previous employers um, what that person's work ethic is like or character, this sort of thing. And maybe they assumed some things and uh, should have done more homework. But, yeah, I'm sure he's going to have to take the rap for this. And um, it's a difficult time. Uh, the choice is going to have to be made fairly quickly, obviously. It's an important role when it is an important moment. And that is the thing. In a minority government, you actually never know when you're going to need that. You think about the uh, impact on Julie Payette personally as well, mm. Lisa, and what this is going to mean devastating. for her. It's mm. devastating. Uh, I've been in her company many times. I've seen her give speeches. Uh, she is an incredibly inspiring person. She is a leader. She is... Um, I've seen her speak with school children. I've seen her on so many levels. Um, 
be what she is, which is an engineer and a scientist and someone who brings a lot uh, um, of brain power to the conversation. And again, I say that perhaps does not the governor general make that character. Whatever she brought was not a good leader in the sense of a good boss. And it's just untenable in any situation to have um, the, 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 the reports that people have told me of how they were treated. It's not acceptable. It, as I said, it, it was never acceptable, but especially now. There is accountability at so many levels on how you treat people, um, from the people that are sweeping the floors to, to the prime minister's office. I mean, it is, it is a character flaw uh, uh, that, that has been revealed through this, and I would suggest it's devastating for her personally and for um, her family. Our chief news anchor, senior editor Lisa Laflamme, wonderful to have you part of the conversation, Lisa, amid this breaking news. Thank you, Todd.